Hi everyone, my name is Meads. Welcome to my channel. And right here is the leg of the Double O Gundam Spider-Man custom. Um, I have my work in progress right here. And it's looking pretty good so far. So I'm trying to imitate this on this. And initially when I first started this, I usually just paint the base color. Then I usually just go online trying to find a, a good pattern and just kind of imitate it. That's what I usually do. So for this, I'm going to use a toothpick and I'm just going to do a little demonstration how I paint it with a toothpick. So that's a reference on this. I'm going to look at this. I'm going to dab a little bit of paint. Start on the edges. And I usually rest my pinky on my other hand or something stable. So it kind of gives me a little bit of control. So even if I move my hand, it's going to be together. And on this one, I kind of just take my time as I paint on it. So maybe a little quiet. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, a little bit too much paint. Uh, that's okay. And I can always go back and redo it with the red. All right. Yeah, a little bit too much. No, oh, that's not sticking the way I wanted to. <laughs> Uh, that's that's fine and I'm gonna put the line right in the middle so from here to here let's see um actually from here to here that's not going down I need more paint I should start on the bottom uh, that was a little too thick. <laughs> That's alright. Actually, it takes me a little bit more concentration, so I, it's really hard for me to paint and talk at the same time. Uh, so, just bear with me. So, I have those three lines, vertical. Also, I think... <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to have one here, right in the middle. And the web goes upward. Kind of like an upside down U. Goes right there. There we go. And another one here. That reminds me of those uh, old times where you have a a feather in your painting. Actually, I should have. I need a feather. <laughs> That'll be a cool one, a cool stylus. And throw one here. I think there's supposed to be one here also. Ah, uh, that doesn't look good. And I'm just gonna work my way down. Um, you could measure it if you want, but you know, yeah, it'll take forever, in my opinion. So, just you gotta just wing it sometimes. And I'm sure some someone will you know tell me that how come you're not using a very fine point paintbrush? I could do that, but I haven't really found a really fine paintbrush. And I think using a toothpick is a uh, good, uh, you know, same as good. So that's why I'm using a toothpick. 
There we go. Moving on to the next one. Same one. So I'm I'm pretty much connecting where I end the uh, other side to create the illusion of a web. And you know th this takes a while. It's not something you can just finish in a few minutes. It may take hours because I have to go back and retouch some of the spot I got a little bit too much. And the cool thing about this is this is a matte or uh, what do you call this? A flat red and I'm putting something metallic on top of it and it kind of gives it a little bit more contrast which is what I'm going for. Really great. And I think I'm, I'm gonna start uh, doing a little bit more of this on my future uh, custom paint work. It's a really nice effect in my opinion. So I'm, I'm just pretty much gonna stop the video here but that's it so far. And again it's it's kind of like what's gonna happen on this part right here. And I, I started on the shoulder. I still need to continue that. And actually I should have painted the webbing on top here before uh, painting the spider. <laughs> yep. And I added a little bit more white on top because actually it looks better without the V-fin on the double O. But I, I, I want to put everything the way it is. So I'm just making, trying to get away you know, with the eyes. <laughs> and I still need to paint the shoulder, GN drives. I think it will be cool if I put a some sort of webbing on down here. I'm going to have it in this pose. And I think that will work out. Yep, so that's it for my work in progress. I hope you guys enjoy it. And so until then, this is Meads. Thank you for watching.